Hi, I'm Martin E, Bike Shop, and I'm going to tell you about the brand new Mustache Samadhi 28 trekking bike. This is the silver model, so uh, we actually offer it in a crossbar and a low step. This is obviously the low step model, so um, they're both the same spec, they're both the same price, but I'll talk you through this detail. Uh, but just bear in mind that we do it in a crossbar as well. So, uh, to begin with Moustache, they're a French brand, uh, they just make Boshi bikes, so they're really, really nice. Uh, they're very, very well thought out and very simplified, so they're very elegant in their approach. You notice it doesn't say Moustache all over it, it's really, really simplified, all the cable routing's internal. We've got our own uh, branded components on here in respect of, uh, it's a Moustache pannier rack, mud guards, things like that, so it really, really works very well. Uh, you haven't got lugs running up to the mud guards or anything, uh, it's all built into the rack, which the rack is built into the frame so again very well thought out and everything sort of built in and works together so if I tell you a little bit about the bike if we start at the front end we've got Shimano hydraulic disc brakes on here so really well performing low maintenance and obviously plenty of braking performance for a trekking bike we've got alloy double wall rims front and rear and these are mixed with Schwalbe uh, citizen tires so these are a, a punch resistant tire um, predominantly designed for the road but it's what we call a hybrid tire so you can use this on and off road nothing extreme but we're talking bridleways uh, you know canal tow paths uh, things like that uh, where we've got made up tracks that you might want to dart in and out so the, the bike is fully capable of doing that it's quite a nice well balanced bike it's not a full on road bike it's not an off road bike it's what we call a hybrid again so a trekking style bike so it's a bit of a do it all we get a lot of commuters using these bikes as well so back to the front end uh, we've explained about the brakes we've got a, uh, a sorry a Suntour suspension fork on the front here uh, this is uh, it's got lockout on there so we can actually lock the front end to conserve energy going up uphill quite neatly you can actually have it anywhere in between so normally on a conventional bike we've got locked on and locked off uh, it's just a two stage which means you end up faffing about with it all the time sort of uphill downhill etc uh, this one we can have off and on and we can actually have anywhere in between as well so it's it's totally open to its settings so we have a lot of people just find a medium style of setting that they like and they can just leave it in that uh, for, for a lot of the ride the mud guards again are built in, so and these are a, a proper metal um, mud guard. They're triple channeled, so they don't bend and flex and make noise when you're riding. They're super sturdy, and because they're alloy, they're not going to rust at all as well. And again, I will stress how sturdy they are. They're they're a proper metal mud guard, so there's no uh, plastic or flexing at all. We've got lights front and rear, and again, these are built into the bike, and these are an integral part of the Bosch system. So they actually pull their power off the battery. Uh, they're LED, they're very low current, so they don't draw much power at all. And you can actually turn them on and off up on the head unit here. So when you're riding, even in the daytime, you can have them on for that bit of extra visibility. They're, they're actually quite a good uh, LED light. So again, they don't draw much power, but you can sort of see where you're going with them as well as be seen by other people as well. And of course, we can just turn them back off using the handlebar controls. So we work our way up. We've got an FSA internal sealed headset. So I won't bore you to death with the internal specs, but it basically means that it's sealed from the elements. It's gonna last a lot longer and it's one less thing to go wrong. The famous moustache handlebars are really intriguing. They've actually got a wrap back design to them, so it's really comfortable to hold with these comfort grips as well. So comfortability points on the bike, uh, the handlebars, uh, the grips, and we've got a Cellar Royale gel saddle as well, so really comfortable. This is a suspension seat post, so it will absorb some of the vibrations from the back. The handlebar controls, uh, the Bosch system is actually integrated on its own little uh, pedestal at the top here, so it's super stiff, it doesn't flex around at all. And again, it's just a really nice way that Moustache have mounted it to the bike. It's different from every other bike out there. It doesn't clamp in the traditional way, and it looks more integral. So we're, we're making it look as much like a, a regular bike as possible. Um, obviously, we've got the Bosch active line motor on here, so it is there to assist you. You can see some of our other videos as to how the Bosch e-bike system works. But this is the 250 watt active line, it's the latest generation technology uh, and we've got a 400 watt power pack here as well so it's got the most amount of range that any Bosch e-bike gives you. Obviously this uh, pannier rack battery is of course mounted within the pannier rack so it's out the way you're not kicking it getting off and on and off the bike. It looks very neat and you can remove it to charge it well on this because it's the new system you can charge it up on the bike as well. The battery is locked in using a key and we use the same key for the rear wheel lock. So the rear wheel lock is there, so if you're just popping in and getting the paper, we can lock the back wheel off, 
Admittedly, it doesn't stop anyone picking the bike up and walking off with it, but it is there as a, as a mild security feature, which is really, really nice to see. We've got a chain guard over the chain itself, so you can't get your skirt or trousers caught in the chain, which is nice, it's not going to get grubby at all, and it tends to keep some of the bad weather off it as well. It's a nine-speed Shimano gear system, and these are all on trigger shifters, so we can flick up and back down through the gear system. Uh, it's either in gear or in another gear. It's really responsive and quite, quite easy to use. Obviously we've got a Shimano disc brake on the rear as well to match the front, so again ample stopping power there. We've got a decent prop stand here which is capable of holding a decent amount of weight, so you can actually sit on the bike with the prop stand on. Uh, it's again built into the frame so it's not just like a bolt on add-on, it's, it's an integral part of it. So that basically sums up the Samadhi Silver Trekking. Um, it's a really, really nice bike as you can see. You have to see it in the flesh to appreciate it. Some of these welds and things are absolutely precise, they're bang on. Really, really nicely finished bike very much understated for what it is but the moustache is all about quality 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 so it's sort of really really nice to look at and of course it rides just the same as well it's designed and engineered by riders so thanks for watching the videos guys um, you can go on our website you can have a look at pictures of these uh, you can see the full specification reviews geometry charts etc uh, better still you can book an appointment you can come down you can see these bikes in the flesh we can take you out for a ride and we can show you them in more detail Thanks for watching and hopefully you see some of my more videos for 2015.